What is up guys, Austin Nerd Joe here, and today I'm going to show you off, I got some brand new Star Wars stuff, I got some pops, and they're the Star Wars movie moments. So we have these, and then of course, two other things to show, but I can only fit so many in my hand. So we're going to start with these movie moments, now, I'm really excited about these, I think they're super cool, and I can't wait to like show them off and stuff. Um, these are obviously Walmart, so we'll go ahead and start with this one, for, I don't know if they have... I guess they do have an order, but we'll just uh, kind of go out of order. We'll start with the trash compactor here. So as you can see, it's a Walmart. So there's four of these. The first four we'll do are all Star or Walmart exclusive versions. And so these are just two pops, and they're placed in sets, which we'll obviously take out of the box. You can see it more. And they're just stuck in there, and they're in movie scenes. And so as you can see, this one here is the trash compactor escape. Of course, where they're on the Death Star, and they're trying to escape the stormtroopers after freeing Princess Leia from the um, prisoner chamber and they free her and slide down the um, trash chute into the trash compactor there where of course it's closing in so let's go ahead and open this so as I said you can find these at Walmart at least now I believe so I was able um, so I've been able to order one offline so um, that's how I got um, the trash compactor here this first one um, so here it is, and so this is all that it is. Like you, the characters are like made into the uh, base and stuff, so you can't like take them off and do anything. Since it is Star Wars, they do do stuff the bobble heads, so their heads wobble, as you can see in lay. It kind of makes that thumping sound. Um, but they're on a base, which I like, and of course it says Star Wars there on the front and everything. And I just like these things; they're so cool. They're awesome for like displaying, but unfortunately I have like nowhere to display them at all, so I just have to leave them in the box and stuff. But here we have Leia there. Of course and she's holding like the staff of course that they use like put up against the two walls closing in and the trash compactor and so it's just the classic princess lay of again from episode four new hope and everything so she's in the all white dress she has the buns on her side of her head stuff and like i said she's got the stick and then we have Luke over here, and he's in a Stormtrooper outfit, of course, because him and Han dressed up in the Stormtroopers to get through the Death Star. And so he's got the gun and everything, and so he's in the Stormtrooper outfit, as you can see. And so he's standing here, you know, he's got the gun. When he gets attacked by the monster, and so they even th um, threw in the monster. I don't know if it has a name or not, I can't remember that much about it. But you can see the eye of it there, and then on the back side here, it's got a tentacle kind of wrapping around loop like that's getting ready to suck them in and stuff and so here's a top look on there so you can see all the different like trash and stuff or um, different parts they threw in there to try and represent trash and everything and so that's just kind of cool that they um, threw all that in there but as I started to say you can probably find these at Walmart because like I said I ordered this set the trash compactor set off their website I got um, two of them for um, my parents bought me two for Christmas. Um, one will be the next one, and then they bought this one again, which unfortunately I already had. But uh, my mom said she got them off Amazon. So I'd recommend not doing that because you have to pay, like, I think she paid twice as much. So she paid for one the price of two and stuff. So don't do that. And then um, yesterday we just went to Walmart, and my Walmart had a in cap thing just full of all of these so they had every single one all four of them all together and so you can just buy them all there so that's i bought the um, other two that i needed and you know i've completed the set now so they also have the backgrounds that you can see here so this is the inside the trash compactor so if you want to display you can set this up and then put this like around it and so it, like you know fits with the display i mean unfortunately it's just a piece of cardboard so you know it's not very nice or fancy or anything to go along with this display but you can like sit it around it you know and make it fit in there like that so each one of these will have a background to go along with it so that was the trash compactor then next up we got the escape pod landing of course with r2d2 and c3po where they land on tatooine after escaping the um, ship that princess Leia is on that the empire and darth vader and stuff take over grab a hold and take over trying to get to the death star plans when leia puts the um it plans inside RTD2 and they escape in an escape pod down to Tatooine to try and escape to get the um, plans out to Obi Wan to help protect them and stuff. And so we got this again. This is a Walmart exclusive, but my, as I said, this was one my mom ordered offline. And for so I guess because that doesn't have the Walmart exclusive thing, so who knows where the person got it? I like even worry that this you know is this even real type thing, or is it like a um, rip off? I don't know. But here, so we have the thing, which I think is so cool. So besides the trash one, I've not taken any of these out of the boxes. So this is all new to me and stuff. So this is cool. So we have C-3PO and R2-D2, which R2-D2 is one of my favorite characters. I have like a 
like probably five different like favorite characters from Star Wars and um, R2-D2 is one of the top ones so that I like having R2-D2 so I like that. Then we have C-3PO there so we have both of those characters going together so if, and of course with our uh, C-3PO like pointing and stuff it's probably when they're like arguing of which direction they should go you know R2-D2 wants to go this way and C-3PO wants to go that way and they end up splitting off going their different directions and so we have the sand here of course with the um, as the dis display base and we have the Star Wars logo there on it as always and again they are bobblehead C-3PO is a lot more bobbly than us uh, R2-D2 there but um, it does have the escape pod back here so again there's um, what they did to design the escape pod there and then I like on the top of this our uh, like as you can see um, we have the R2-D2 wheel tracks so he has the three tracks there you know going along the different thing for his three wheels and then C-3PO has his little feet so it's like you know they put a lot of detail into it to make it look like you can you know like they're actually there and stuff so there is the landing flat or the landing of the skate pod and then I was gonna show off the background and so here's the background here so it's just supposed to be like the dunes of tattooing there so you have the sand and then the clear sky in the background again that you can set up in the back if you want to display it outside the box if you want to use the cardboard there so that is going to be it for the escape pod landing then next up we have the cantina face off so this has han solo and greedo of course when greedo confronts han solo about repaying the debts he has the job of the hut in the cantina on Tatooine in Mos Eisley. And so we'll go ahead and pull this out of the box here. So this one I think is kind of fun and cool and this is a nice display one because um, usually if there's one thing like people know or remember or whatever about Star Wars or at least know where the, um, stuff to it or whatever, it's this because of the Han shot first type controversy whatever argument that people like to have but so here i have han solo of course he's sitting there all cool and stuff with his arm up on the um booth and then his like leg up on the table and stuff just being all relaxed i wish he oh, i guess he does have a gun i didn't see it but he does have his gun there of course where he like points it under the table um i think he points under the table but the table here is like all thick so maybe shoots around the table or something i don't know but we have him there and then of course greedo which it's hard to see on that side but on the back here you can see he's pointing the gun you know threatening him that java wants his money and you need to pay java and stuff and greedo's in his original outfit there and i like that because they like to make the weird greedos that have like different color outfits out I assume that's supposed to be for like the old action figure or something, like the old classic Kenner toys. But um, I like this one where it looks more like his actual outfit and stuff. Um, but so that's cool. And then we got the table, like I said, and it's got two cups there. So you can see the cups there on the table, the two different glasses. So it's like it's the actual scene and stuff. And then we have the base with the Star Wars logo and everything on it. There's not much more to it than that. Like this one's a pretty... Uh, plane. We don't have all sorts of like details besides the booth and the table to go into it, but it does of course have a background and so This is just from the inside of the cantina where they're sitting up against the wall with a little tiny window there in the background So again another display thing you can do there. So that's it for the cantina face-off Then next up we have the Death Star duel. So this is when Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi duel in the Death Star um, towards the I'd say the, I was gonna say the end of the movie, but I guess it's not really the end because they do a whole lot more after that. But at the end of Obi Wan's life, I could say. Um, so of course, this is where um, Han and Luke and Le they get Leia and Chewie, and all of them are uh, escaping back to the Death uh, to the uh, Millennium Falcon on the Death Star after they've been trapped. So they're trying to escape, and um, they're all running to the Millennium Falcon, and Luke no looks over and notices. Of course, they are able to do that because the stormtroopers. Are distracted and so with that distraction they're able to run over like to the Millennium Falcon and as they're doing it, Luke looks over and notices that Darth Vader and Obi-Wan are fighting each other and so he stands there and watches of course at the very end of them doing that Obi-Wan looks over and notices Luke is watching and then he just does the thing where he holds his lightsaber up and then Darth Vader slashes right through him and he disappears and Obi-Wan is now dead uh, but this is the scene right before where they're just kind of dancing or I'm uh, dancing not really dancing but you know like dancing around in the hallway for the duel um, just hitting lightsabers and stuff trying to you know obviously outdo each other or whatever and to be able to become the winner now this set is kind of plain and boring because all we have is Darth Vader which again is just another classic Darth Vader there's all these are the classic forms Obi-Wan with his hood up instead of the hood down like I think the pop figure that we have on the table back here is 
but um, he has the lightsaber, and then Darth Vader has, of course, his lightsaber that they're crossing there as they're fighting. But that's all it is, and then there's just a black base with, it's kind of like got a checkerboard design, but obviously it's all blacked out, so you can't see. But it's just supposed to be the floor of the Death Star, how it's all the black and shiny. It looks like they got a little crazy with, like, the glue of sticking them down. And then, of course, we have the Star Wars logo on there. I like the base a lot on this one, like the design and like sleekness of it and everything. But it's just so plain and basic and there's nothing to it. It'd be cool if they could have somehow added like lighting effects, like blue over on uh, Obi-Wan's side from his lightsaber and red from Darth Vader. But they, you know, can only do so much. But like I said, beyond that, there's nothing to this. It's just them sitting there fighting. So um, there's not much more you can do there. But so that's the actual pops. And then we have the scene in the background, so we have the hallway of the Death Star that they're fighting in, that Luke looks over and sees and stuff, them fighting. So I like that background. That's probably my favorite background out of all of these so far. So that's going to be it for the Death Star duel. Then next up we have the Cloud City duel. Now this one is the Walgreens exclusive. So as you can see, it's got the Walgreens exclusive sticker there. And this one has been in stores for a couple months now. So if you want these things, you'll probably be able to find this one by now because it's been out for quite a while. But we have, like I said, Luke and Darth Vader there in Cloud City, of course, in Bespin, where they fight at the very end. This is obviously right before Luke loses his hand because he has both hands in this picture. But this one, I like the display a lot, or like the actual base and stuff. So, of course, we'll open this one to get a better look at it. So, like I said, this one was the first one I got because it was the easiest to find. I can't even remember. Yeah, I think I found it at a Walgreens. I couldn't, can't remember, but I think I did. I was going to say, I can't remember if I did that or bought it off something else, but I'm pretty sure I got it from Walgreens. But so here we have Darth Vader and Luke where they're fighting out onto the platform. And uh, like I said, this is in Cloud City and Bespin. And of course, Luke gets out over on this side and then, you know, Darth Vader chops off this part. And Luke's hanging on here, or, and Luke loses his hand. And Luke's just hanging on here when Darth Vader says, you know, yes, I am your father. And Luke says no and jumps off. But here is before that scene. So so it's as they're walking out. So there again, we have Darth Vader and Luke. So Luke's in his, um, I think the Dagobah outfit is what they call it. I don't really know for sure what kind of outfit he's wearing, like what they call it for sure there, his outfit. But it's all like the like um, peach or like pale color. I don't know what you call it. I was going to say peach. But I don't know exactly what color you, but it's like a off gray, like a cream or something design. And he does have a blaster there on his side because um, he obviously is pretty new with the lightsaber and stuff. So he's not efficient with that completely. So he has the um, gun just in case. And then, of course, we have Darth Vader as they're fighting. So this is their first fight scene. They're meeting um, face to face in the, mo in the movies and stuff. And so then, like I said, Luke gets told that Darth Vader is his father. And that's a pretty big thing. So this set I really like because I like the whole design of this like platform thing that they're on. And this is, to me, the most entertaining base. Now this one, I realize, doesn't say Star Wars on it. I don't know if it's supposed to. I thought all of them were supposed to still have like the Star Wars on it, but I don't see it anywhere. So I'm afraid like, you know, I got like a bad one or something, but I'll have to look at others. But I think it's legit and real and everything. But that's so cool. And so we'll look at their background over here. If I can pull it out of the box. So this is a kind of a neat background. It's got a lot more to it. So this is just the side walls inside of the like giant tunnel they're in in Cloud City. And of course, once Luke gets his hand cut off, he falls off the thing and goes falling through the giant like tunnel here through a little um, like hole thing that gets him to the outside. Probably like one of these holes in the background on the side. Um, they falls through, but I like the whole design, the intri intri intricacy. I don't know how to say, but all the detail they put into it compared to just you know like a plain background. So I really like that too. So that's gonna be it for the Cloud City duel. And lastly, here we have something different than the whole movie scene things, but it is the Leia on the speeder bike. So this is a new one. I got this at GameStop, so I don't know if or you'll be able to find. I know I saw it at Toys R Us as well. So you can find it places like that. But it's just Leia with the speeder bike. This is from Indoor, or when they do the Battle of Indoor on the moon of Indoor. Um, so with the Ewoks and all that sorts of stuff. And so we have Leia on the speeder bike. And so there is a Luke also, which I really want both of them, the Luke and the Leia, obviously to go together. But Luke is the chase. So you'll have to, you know, to find that, it's going to be more difficult. But I do believe it's got like a 1 in 
three, maybe one and two um, chances. So it's uh, more likely to be able to be found because it's not as super rare compared to like other chases and stuff. But I like a Toys R like I, this was the only one they had at GameStop where I got it but at Toys R Us when I saw it they had like five of these but none of the Lukes at all so and there's not much to it like if you find it you'll have to like look at the box and it may have a chase sticker I've never had a chase so I don't know exactly sure what like this one would be and it, I may say like Luke on it Luke Skywalker or something on speeder bike but it'll just be hard because they'll look exactly the same just Luke instead of Leia in the face and stuff but so we have, I really like this a lot, because indoor is um, one of my favorite parts of the movies, like of all the Star Wars movies, I like the whole indoor stuff. Um, but it, it's, so it's got a piece of the ground here, it's like rocks and stuff with grass and all sorts of like moss or whatever, growing out there to be the ground. Then we have the floating speeder bike, which I really like the pop ride, things like this for Star Wars where they have the like, in, the, like clear parts that make it look like it's floating. Then we have the speeder bike, which I really like the design. Of course, they put a lot of detail and everything into the bike to make it look as good as possible in a pop form and stuff and just all the they put like all the little details into it and stuff and then we have Leia here of course she's in like the um, landing outfit that they use to like land to be able to camouflage into the environment so so she has the rebel helmet on and I like how it's got like the paint designs and stuff on it and everything you can kind of tell it's Leia because on her eyes she has eyelashes coming off the side so that informs you it's a girl and then she has curly brown hair here under her helmet and so Luke would have brown or brown, uh, blondish color hair and stuff and then she's in the cape like the um, it's like a poncho almost of like camo design and stuff there and then greenish color pants and everything and so it just looks really cool I really like this I, can't, I don't think they've made them not on this form so it's nice to not have a repeat pop of the same thing it looks like there's a couple of like glue issues going on in here but that's to be expected and everything but that is really cool I really like this pop a lot now I just need to find the Luke three two one so that's gonna be it for this video today I hope you enjoyed seeing all these new Star Wars pops and stuff that you can buy I love the whole movie scenes I can't wait to make more even though they're big and hard to, to like sit somewhere and I have nowhere to display them so just trying to find a place to put the, these big boxes and stuff is the only unfortunate thing and they cost a little bit more it's like twenty five dollars somewhere around there for the sets which you get two pops and then a display so price isn't like overwhelmingly huge but it is more than obviously just a pop itself but I think they're really cool and I can't wait to get more I you know just love the Star Wars stuff especially these movie scenes so much they're so cool but I hope you enjoyed if you did let me know in the comments down below let me know either if you have any of them or what your favorite scene was and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos and we'll see you next time